Hello everyone. Welcome to new video of Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new guide video for you. A new event has appeared. Childhood Memory Festival. The event is new, but there is not anything new in this event. This event is similar with Thanksgiving feast. If you remember, some months ago, an event came with feast. This event is similar with it. Today I will discuss what is in the event, how to play this event. Let's jump in our video. This event has several sections. I will discuss them all one by one. Starting with Party Prelude. In this section, you have to sell some dishes to get point. There are total six dishes and you will get more point. When you sell dishes with the tag urgent, when you sell ditch, you will get both personal point and alliance point. Both point are important and I will explain soon how to get all these dishes. We will get the answer in next section. Next section is a whiff of childhood. This is a type of kitchen where you have to cook the dishes. After you cook them, you can sell in party prelude. So both of the sections are connected to each other. You need different ingredients to cook each dishes. How to collect ingredients and cook, I will explain it later in this video. You have to collect the ingredients bag and you can get any ingredients from it depending on your luck. Let's move to next section. Next section is Dessert Bonanza. This section has three columns. Each column is a milestone of rewards. Left column is for free to play player. Middle and right columns are for spenders. How to get point for these milestone? This section is directly connected with first two sections. In a whiff of childhood, you have to cook. And in party prelude, you have to sell dish. By selling dishes, you will get point. In dessert bonanza, if you are a spender, and if you are targeting emote and other items, you should purchase magical dessert and gourmet delights. Free to play players will get very small amount of items from dessert bonanza. Let's move to our next section. Next section is party expert. This is similar with king of ice field. In seven days, you will get seven stages. In each stage, you will get some tasks. And if you complete them, you will get reward. This is the best source to get ingredients, which we will use to cook. I will show tasks of each day, and I will suggest which task you should do if you are free to play. Starting with day one, the tasks are raise power through construction, research, training, recruitment, use shard. If you are free to play, you should depend on training and recruitment. I always say to save keys, this is the time to use your keys. Use as much keys as possible and get point for leaderboard. I will show you example. As you can see, my current ranking is 345. I will use some free to play task and I will show my rank after this. Now see, my rank is 68. So, if you are free to play, keep training troops and do recruitment to enter leaderboard ranking. I will suggest what you should use on other days. Day 2 is Beast Slay. This day is totally for free to play. I have only one suggestion for you. Whenever you are attacking Beast or Polar Terror, use Gina. Gina has expedition skill to reduce stamina cost. So, if you use Gina, you can attack more using less chief stamina. Keep your auto join rally on, so it can help everyone in your alliance. Now we are checking day 3. Day 3 is hero development. If you are free to play, your only target is recruitment. Don't use your all keys on day 1, save some keys, and use them on day 3. There is also task of speed up, if you want, you can use training speed up. Why I am telling to use speed up, I will show it later in this video. Day 4 is train troops. There is not much anything to say about it. Keep training as much troops as possible. I have one suggestion for you. Day 3 has training speed up task. You can start training troops on day 3. And you can use speed up to complete, but you should not claim the troops. When day 4 will start, claim the troops. So, 
you will get points for both day 3 and 4. You can request for Minister of Education to train more number of troop. Day 5 is Hero Gear. There is no task for free to play, but if you are free to play, you can use Hero Gear Ass and Stone, because other tasks are not economical. If you want to use Gems, you can use them in VIP Shop, but you should avoid Widget Task as free to play. Day 6 is Gather Resource. I don't have much thing to tell, because your only target is to get as much resource as possible. I have one suggestion for you, you should send troops to gather before day 6 starts. So, when day 6 will start, they will return, and you will get huge point. You are also getting troops training task, which is good for free to play. If you have low level troops, you can promote them, because promotion gives more point than training. Last day is chief gear. There is no good task for free to play. If you are free to play, you can use training speed up task. Save your chief gear upgrade materials for any big event. This is how you can complete seven days as free to play. Moving to our next section. Next section is childhood nostalgia. This is a puzzle event. Each puzzle component has a photo behind it. You have to complete some tasks to solve the puzzle so you can unlock the full photo. The tasks are very simple like login, troops training, research. When you complete the puzzle vertically and horizontally, you will get more rewards in the chest. This puzzle has 15 components. You can solve 14 of them as free to play. The last component is impossible for free to play because you have to top up to complete it. Leave the last component and go for others. Moving to our next section, top up benefits. This section has nothing for free to play players. You have to recharge to complete some milestone so you can get some extra rewards. If you are a spender, try to recharge 30,000 gems. If you recharge 30,000 gems, you can unlock permanent marching skin, magic teddy. Don't miss it if you are a spender. Next section is colorful greetings. This is also a top up section. But if you are free to play, you will get something from here. The left side column is for free to play. Every day, you will get some rewards from this section. Next section is childhood quest. This is another source to get ingredients. The sources are, spend gems, use speed ups, gather resources, defeat beasts. If you are free to play, you should depend on gather resources and defeat beasts. Do you remember, on day three, I told to use speed up. This is the reason, if you use speed up, you will get ingredients. Now I want to check how much ingredients I can get by using speed up. As you can see, currently I have got 17 ingredients for using speed up. I will use some speed up and I will check the number. Now the number is 24, that means I have got 7 ingredients. I have used 14 hours of speed up and I got 7 ingredients. So, you will get 1 ingredients for using 2 hours of speed up. Keep in mind, there is no limit on getting ingredients from Gems and speed ups. Our last section is Childhood Fantasy Party. This is directly related with Party Prelude. If your alliance can get top 10 ranking in Party Prelude, you will get a party where your alliance members can meet and get reward. I have already made a guy with the event of last time. Check it. Link given in pinned comment. Now we will check how to cook, how to sell dishes, how to get points. Click here to open ingredient bag. You will get different ingredients which will be used in cooking. You should cook only that food, which has the tag urgent. After cooking starts, your food will be heated. You have to click stop when the indicator reaches yellow zone. Our food is ready. Quick cook will be unlocked. And next time you can directly get food without doing this step. Click here to use quick cook. This is how you have to cook food in a whiff of childhood. I am showing one more dish.
We have cooked to urgent food. Now we can sell them to get point. This is how you can get point. In Party Prelude, there is also Milestone Chest, as daily reward. If your alliance can get top 10 rank, your alliance can start party. There are three type of party, Magical Reverie, Moonlight Dream, Fairytale Feast. We know, everyone does not have all ingredients to cook. If you have shortage of any ingredients, you can request it from your alliance. You can neither send help to your alliance, or, you can take help using I need. When you sell food, you will get point in Dessert Bonanza. There is Childhood Preservation Tack for more items, first tack is free. This is how you have to complete the event, Childhood Memory Festival. I am not explaining the party because I have told it in another guy. Link given in pinned comment. Overall the event is good for free to play, because you will get lot of reward. But skins are impossible to get, if you are free to play. You can enjoy the event by playing with Alliance. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.